The birth of the female Bollywood action star. Forbidden love, Armenian fortune tellers, and whips. So many whips. All that and more coming up. G'day, I'm Mark Fennell and welcome to Bollywood for Beginners where we examine and celebrate all that is weird and wonderful about the Indian film industry. And in this episode, meet Fearless Nadia, the little Aussie girl that risked death, inspired a nation and forever changed the way we think about women in Bollywood. But, how the hell did she get there? Well, to answer that, we need to go back to Perth in 1909. She was born Mary Ann Evans to an English army volunteer father and a Greek theatre teacher mother. She moved to Bombay at the age of nine and by her mid-twenties, she had learnt to ride a horse, dance ballet and then she pulled a water for elephants and went off to join the circus. It was at this moment that she encountered an Armenian fortune teller who insisted that she change her name to something more exotic, something beginning with N. Our newly renamed hero caught the eye of a movie producer, J.B.H. Wadia, who cast this all-singing, all-dancing, muscled blonde Aussie girl in a bit part as a slave girl. It wasn't long, in fact 1935, before Fearless Nadia got her very own movie, Hunter Vali or Hunter Woman, and it meant that Bollywood had now crowned its very first stunt queen. In knee-high boots, a mask and leather wristbands, Nadia burst out onto the screen with this film. Audiences latched on to the feisty fair-haired actress and she was even given the nickname the Sultana of Stunts, which sounds both awesome and full of natural antioxidants. In fact, she was so good that half the time she ended up doing the stunts for her male co-stars too. But most importantly, Nadia signified a really profound shift in the way Indian women were portrayed in cinema. Traditionally, women were usually just vamps, virgins or victims, and perhaps it was because that Nadia Nadia was so strikingly different to the other actresses on the screen that she became what no woman had ever been before in the movies, the hero. Now look, the plot of a lot of these movies were just an excuse for a loose succession of stunts, but pretty soon Nadia became an almost political figure. I mean, in her film The Diamond Queen, Nadia defeats the owners of a diamond mine that uses child labour, and when she's done beating these guys into pulpy submission, she gives this lecture on women's rights and literacy programs. So, next time you see a lady kick ass in a Bollywood action film, remember, it all began with a whip and a woman named Nadia. 